Have you heard about ChatGPT? It is an AI model launched by OpenAI in November 2022, and it has the ability to write and debug computer programs, compose music, write poetry and essays, and can even answer test questions. Amazing, isn't it? AI now is part of our personal and professional life. That is why it is no surprise why from decades to decades, the potential of AI to significantly impact the job market has been in discussion. And up to this day, there's still an ongoing debate whether this impact will be negative or positive. Some people are concerned that AI could lead to widespread job loss as machine can perform more tasks more efficiently and accurately than humans. Others argue that AI could give more jobs and that the overall impact on employment will be positive. There is evidence to support both perspectives. If you think about it, many of the great inventions for the last 200 years were designed to replace human labor. But also, for the last 125 years, the number of people participating in the workforce is also increasing. In fact, it is rising about every decade. A study in the World Economic Forum found that while AI is likely to automate certain tasks, it will also create more jobs which currently do not exist. These jobs will be in the fields of data science and machine learnings, which will be needed to maintain and improve. Overall, it is very difficult to predict how AI can impact the job market, but it is most likely that this impact will be complex and varied. Some jobs may be lost out of automation, but it's more likely that it will create new job opportunities. We are now in a world where an AI diagnosing our cancer and a robot will perform the surgery. We have to be reminded that only when we can work with AI, we can keep people in the loop. But to do that, we have to take the lead and not follow. It is important for us individuals and organizations to stay informed about the latest development about AI and to continuously upgrade our skills in order to maintain competitive in this changing job market. And remember, we need to choose to be less like robots and we need to build robots to be more like humans. Because ultimately, the only thing we need to fear is not automation but ourselves.